Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today I want to talk about the transmission in these things and uh, see what the differences are between a normal scat pack and the 1320. Stay tuned. The 1320 gets the scat pack version of the torque flight transmission, the 8-speed torque flight transmission. It is the 8HP70. Now the difference between that and the Demon, the Demon is an 8HP90. Uh, it's all around beefier for the Demon and the Hellcats. So this is still the scat pack transmission, they just have uh, some other tricks up their sleeve. Uh, it has a different torque converter than the Scat Pack. The Scat Pack has a standard uh, torque converter, and the RPMs that it launches at is between 1,800 and 2,000 RPM. Uh, some say 12 to 18. I think it's right around 1,800, maybe just a little bit more. But the 1320 comes with a different version of the torque converter that is in the Dodge Demon. The Dodge Demon has a 2,350 uh, RPM stall, which is the same RPM stall that is in the 1320. Now, it is not the exact same torque converter that comes in the Demon because the Demon has the uh, 8HP90 transmission and these have the 8HP70 transmission. The 1320 also has launch assist, which uses the wheel speed sensors to watch the drive line and stop any damaging uh, wheel hop at launch. and. Uh, in milliseconds, it modifies the engine torque to regain full grip. And I've felt this, I know there's several people who, I've even watched videos where you'll, you'll see the car basically correct itself without them touching anything. Uh, it's pretty amazing how fast it reacts. Uh, launch control prevents the tires slip during straight line acceleration. Uh, the factory borrows its own stability software from the Dodge Demon Line lock releases the rear brakes and locks the fronts. So when you hold OK, which is the magic button on these to, to activate your line lock, it locks the front wheels and lets the rear spin freely. So you can uh, heat up those tires real nice before you try and launch. Another thing that's unique to the 1320, the HP 8 HP 70 in the 1320 comes with torque reserve and unique drag racing programming for the transmission. So it's, it's a tune that comes from the factory for the 1320 for that transmission. It's not the same as a scat pack. The torque reserve uh, works in conjunction with launch control and the trans brake and it also manages the fuel flow and controls the ignition timing to maximize power delivery on launch. So if you combine that with the uh, adaptive suspension that slams all that power into the ground uh, you have something really vital when it comes to launching this car off the line. I know when I drag race, the line coming off the line, there's not a whole lot of cars that stay next to you. Okay, ready? Yeah. Jesus. Nice. Wow. Uh, the trans brake with this transmission, it locks three clutches in first gear and one clutch in second gear. Uh, I know that's different from other trans brakes because the older versions or previous to them being a production car you standard the standard would be that you lock reverse and first and the reason that they did not go with that uh, concept for the new version of the uh, trans brake is that if something were to fail they wanted to make sure that the car was going to go forward because everybody would be in anticipation of it going forward especially considering this is mainly supposed to be driven at the drag strip Moving back along the drive line, uh, the 1320 also comes with the stronger 41 spline extreme duty half shafts. Uh, they're really not needed for 485 horsepower, but I think this is a little nudge uh, for us to build these cars, to not leave them stock, to put more power in them. And this is one of the uh, built in upgrades that Chrysler was, or Dodge, was nice enough to put in there for us. So when we do go to start making these faster, we really don't have to worry about the half shafts. So here's what the transmission shifts like when you put it in drag mode. Definitely is uh, much more firm. I feel that it's a little quicker. Doesn't kind of slide in. It uh, really gives you a little, little pop here. Definitely a little more uh, juice to 
get loose. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. Let your buddies know about this channel. Uh, just trying to help educate people on what the 1320 is, uh, some of the options that it comes with versus a standard scat pack. So uh, yeah, just spread the word. I appreciate you guys watching. If you're new, thanks for coming and uh, we'll see you next time.